We began last year a multi-year transformation of government. Now, what are, we, what are we talking about when we say transformation? Well, uh, obviously the term transformation talks about a metamorphosis, an evolution, starting at one point and changing to another. Well, we're in the midst of that transformation. And, in fact, we begin this year, the 2014 budget, in the second year of a multi-year transformation. The process of transforming is what's important to us. The fact that we will continue to monitor, we will continue uh, to pay attention to uh, those things that were, are within our control to wring out efficiencies, enhance the way we, we deliver services, and, and guess what? Shake up the status quo. There are some who believe that just because we've done something one way, we should continue to do it that way while we then also add or change from it. Our position is that we owe it to the taxpayer and we owe it to the resident and the family and the small business owner of Dutchess County to change the way government functions. And as we do it, make some tough choices. Yes, that means shrinking the workforce. Yes, it means reducing du duplicative layers of government. It means dissolving du duplicative layers of government. And as I said in, this, in my swearing in uh, uh, all uh, those months ago, uh, as uh, one of Dutchess County's favorite sons offered, it is a bold and persistent experimentation. It's a heuristic approach, trial and error, until we finally get it right. And guess what? Because of the way you have decided to govern and allow us to govern, we do it in a very transparent way. You get to read the front page of the newspaper that an idea that we had didn't come to fruition. Now, there are some, especially at this time of year, who would like to say to you, well, that's a failure. Look, they failed. They tripped, as if to suggest they are perfect. What I suggest to you is this is the way government is supposed to function in a democracy. And this is the example that other layers of government should take from us. We will continue to try and try and try again until we get it right because we owe it to the taxpayer. But we are in the midst of a bold and persistent transformation and we begin this year uh, in the second year of that effort. Now, how does that manifest itself? Well, it manifests itself in a mission. Now, what you'll see in the documents that Val will outline for you is a statement of Dutchess County's purpose. What is our mission in life? What is our vision for uh, our community? And how best will we address it? Now, the mission of Dutchess County government uh, is to provide quality, responsive services to residents, businesses, families, visitors in a fiscally responsible way. But at the core, preserve our heritage, protect that which we can, promote economic growth, economic development, so that there are job opportunities, that there are growth opportunities, there are assessed value opportunities for residents, and at the same time enhance overall the quality of life. Now, what does that mean? That means everybody. You know, we can have ideology and suggest that there are certain people outside of the care of government, whether they're too rich or too poor, that is wrong. It is our responsibility to ensure that every citizen of this county has an expectation that their government is paying attention to them. So from the least of us uh, right on up, this government has a responsibility to react and respond. And we will not, and you will see in this budget, and we will confront it with voters, we will confront it with employees, and we will confront it with our representatives in Albany and Washington. We will not dismantle county government because they've left us no other option. We will continue to provide a core level of service so that we can improve the economy and enhance the quality of life. Now that